For those of you who are still deciding which die cut machine to get, and you think you're going to get a cuddle bug, let me show you the different plates that you get with the machine. Of course, you get the green machine, and then you're going to get an A plate, and an A plate you're going to use all the time. The next plate you're going to get is a C plate, and the C plate is the one that we're going to use to cut our nestability's dies. The way I remember that is C is for cut. And then you're going to get two B plates. Now the B plates are used for a lot of different things with the cuddle bug, but in the case of the nestabilities, we're going to use the B plates for embossing. And because there's a B in embossing, that's how I remember. B is for embossing, C is for cutting. Okay, so we're going to open up our cuddle bug, and once you open the cuddle bug, that will actually cause suction onto your table so it won't slip and slide all over the place. And you're going to lay your A plate down next. So there's your A plate. Now, one of the neat things about the Spellbinders dies, the Nestabilities dies, is when you actually stamp your image, because the dies are hollow in the center, you can line them up perfectly with the way you want to cut it. So in this case, you can see I'm going to cut just like that, and I'm going to put a B plate down. The reason I'm putting a B plate down is because I'm going to use the B plate for both cutting and embossing and so this way I'm just going to put the B plate down first and I'm going to put whichever plate I'm going to use for my cutting or embossing on top so I don't have to change the bottom one. So there, now I've centered my image and I've put my Nestabilities die blade side down and you'll see that little rim that goes around, that's the blade, the cutting blade. So I have it blade side down, and I'm going to line it all up just like that. And then I'm going to put a B plate on top. Now you'll notice my plates have little cut marks all over them. That's okay. That's what's supposed to happen when you die cut. You're going to get cut marks all over your plates, and there's nothing wrong with that. That doesn't damage the plate at all. And I'm going to lay my, oops, wrong plate. I'm going to lay my C plate down, which is my cutting plate. So I'm going to cut. And I'm just going to wind that right through, and you're going to hear it pop and crack. And that's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. And now you can see I've cut out a perfect oval, and it's all ready for my next step. Now, one of the features of the Nestabilities dies is the fact that you can not only cut with them, but you can emboss with them too. So let me show you how easy it is to emboss this oval that I just cut. I'm going to keep that. You don't really have to take it out. I just took it out to show you. This is the way it looked prior to me taking it out. So I'm going to keep it in there and I'm going to lay that down on my B plate with the image side down. See, this is my die side up, image side down. So I just flipped it over like that. Now next, Spellbinder sells these embossing mats. You need to use an embossing mat because the pressure will press down on the mat and it won't allow it to cut, but it will rather press down and cause an indentation, which is your embossing. So I'm going to lay that on top. And then like I said, C is for cut, B is for emboss. So my next plate I'm going to use on top is B. And if you look below the screen, you'll see the different sandwiches that you need to both cut and emboss, so you don't have to remember or take notes during this video. Now, because the cuddle bug is not the machine that was made to work with the nestabilities, this sandwich is still not tight enough to create embossing. So what I need to do is I need to find something else to add in there that's going to give it a little bit more height. What I'm using is a piece of chipboard, and I got this chipboard from the back of one of my 12 by 12 pattern paper packs. I just ripped it off the back and I cut it out. If you don't have something like that, you can use two or three sheets of thick cardstock. You can try different things, but whatever you use, when you start to crank it through, if it feels like you really have to force it, it might be a little too thick. I know that the chipboard works perfectly. So now I've laid that chipboard on top, and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to crank that through like that and remove that. Now, can you see closely that I've got a nice embossed edge there? 
And if you can't see it very clearly here on the video, if you look at the card sample below, you'll be able to see just how deeply embossed that is. Now, one of the pluses of the cardstock that I'm using is the Gina K Designs Pure Luxury Heavy Base Weight cardstock. When you use a heavy cardstock like that, your embossing really pops, although it will emboss really nicely with any cardstock. Nest abilities aren't only for creating shapes for your focal images, but they provide a great way to accent your greeting stamps too. So I'm going to cut out a greeting. Now I've stamped the words, my best bud, right here on this little piece of heavy base weight cardstock. And again, I'm going to go ahead and using my plate B, place that there, and then I'm going to use one of the double end tags. Now you can see I've positioned that so that it's straight. And I'm going to go ahead and put my C plate on top because C is for cut. Let me move that over just a hair. There we go. C is for cut, so I'm laying that on top. And I'm going to go ahead and run that through the machine. I know that sounds bad, but it's not. Okay. Now I'm going to pop that out. And I'm also going to emboss it because as you can see, it's got that opening there that if I emboss it, it's going to make a nice little rim. So I'm just going to flip it over, put my embossing pad down, use my B plate for embossing, and then my piece of chipboard, and I'm going to run that through the machine. And now, when I pop this out, you'll see it popped the little holes out on the side so that I can put my eyelets or brads in there. It made a nice embossed rim around my greeting, and this is all ready to pop on my card. Here's my finished card project. Now don't be afraid to pop part of your image outside of the die cut shape, just to change it up a bit. Using nestabilities in your cuddle bug is quick and easy and creates spectacular results.